The most important part for Willie was to have his story told. We met him, we, we spent two years together. The, all, all he wants out of everything that he did for the world was to have his story told. So, you know, being the caretaker of his stuff is very important to me. This is Willie's drag car. Um, obviously, it's got a custom front end on it. I've never had it in the air, so I'm not sure what, if it's just a unibody or he just took a basic shell and fabricated everything else. It almost looks like he did. I know how much it meant to him, and those are some of the judgments that I have to make now is what I'm gonna do with them. Am I gonna restore them or leave them as is? And, you know, I think I'm leaning towards that we restore them back to when Willie was happy and who he was. Keith Black, renowned Hemi builder in the 60s and 70s. They're still in business today, but they were, they were the ultimate builders back in the day. It's a beautiful engine though, it's called an elephant. That's where he came, the, the uh, Chrysler Hemi was called the elephant motor because of the hemispherical heads, but they were gigantic like elephants. I think the car that I'm leaning up against probably has the most history with Willie because he picked it up in the 70s. He hand built it, obviously, and, and he had it till the day he died. Um, he towed this car all over the country. It was, I think, his last gasp, but as eclectic as it comes. Mm -hmm.